Hey, what's up everybody? Professor Pecora in the house once again. Welcome to another big book review. And I hope that you've been enjoying the previous review videos that I dropped regarding Daredevil 131 and 132, CGC 9.8 white pages. And if you haven't noticed yet, there is a trend. I love early bullseye cover appearances within the Daredevil title. Yes, indeed. And so following those two uh, gems that I dropped in previous review videos, the next logical step will be a Daredevil 141, which features the third appearance of Bullseye in the history of comics, which also represents his third cover appearance, which is super dope because he's on that bright yellow cover with a pistol uh, shooting uh, at a catapult device and flinging dare, sending Daredevil flying in the air and he's in bondage. And that's just another badass cover. Uh, the reason I don't have my copy is because I previously sold it, sold it on Heritage Auctions last year and it sold for a record price of like over $600, which was a great sale for me, but I don't have another copy on me, but that's okay. But we're giving Daredevil 141 the love it deserves right now before I jump into the next book. With that being said, let's go into the fourth cover appearance of Bullseye, which is on none other than Daredevil number 146. And yes, I have it in a CGC graded 9.8 white pages, perfectly wrapped and centered, beautiful banging copy for your visual pleasure, All right? Get that eye candy in there, you know what I mean? So yes, indeed. The fourth cover appearance of Bullseye, his fifth appearance overall, because after Daredevil 141, Bullseye appeared in the following issue in Daredevil 142 in like a brief appearance, but he, he was not on the cover. So the next time he appeared in comics was in Daredevil 146, where he's in, he's featured throughout the entire uh, issue, and he's also on a badass cover. Now, let's talk about this beautiful cover art here by a legend, Gil Kane. You know what I'm saying? Gil Kane and Dave Cockrum. You know what I mean? Gil Kane was also responsible for uh, the uh, ASM 129 cover with the legendary John Romita Sr. Gil Kane is awesome, man. So this is a badass cover, one of my personal favorites, where you see Bullseye setting up Daredevil <laughs> on a news recording station, right? News reporter station. And he is here, you know, on all of the main television screens. And he is broadcasting... The potential uh, death of Daredevil. He has a pistol aimed at him, already shot him in the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? He's bleeding. You know, you kind of see some of that blood dripping on his hand right there. That's badass. You see that? He's holding his shoulder. Daredevil shot him, and let's go over the dialogue. You know what I mean? Watch carefully, home viewers, live from New York. It's Daredevil death. Whoa. Then on the bottom, brought to you in glorious living color by Bullseye. You got to love it, man. So just to recap, the first four cover appearances of Dare De oh, I'm sorry, Bullseye all had comic dialogue bubbles on the covers, which is pretty badass. I love that. You know what I mean? Because you actually read the action right on the front cover. So Daredevil 131, 132, 141, and 146 all have this comic dialogue bubble information on it. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's awesome. You know, and these are the earliest bullseye cover appearances. So basically Daredevil 131 and 132 are the only two 1976 bullseye cover appearance issues. And Daredevil 141 and 146 are the only 1977 issues of, of, of bullseye, right? Cover appearances of bullseye. This particular one was published in June of 1977. 
So bronze age early cover, uh, bullseye cover appearances. And they are badass and they're just awesome. The black background with the yellows, the reds, the blues, you know, they pop off here. You got the yellow in the background uh, with bullseye and those little, um, you know, TV images right there. Sort of like uh, panels in a comic strip, you know what I mean? It's just dope, man. Gil Kane is badass. He's one of my favorite artists. All right, 40 Center, Bronze Age, goodness. All right, so Daredevil 146, the fourth cover appearance of Bullseye in the history of comics, his fifth appearance overall. How rare is it in 9.8? I think some of you are wondering. Let's cover that. As of this recording, there have been a total of... 196 universal copies graded on the CGC census, okay? Out of those 196 copies, only 18 received the coveted CGC 9.8 white page or, or 9.8 grade. That is approximately 9.18% of the entire population. So that means that over 91% of all graded copies, this, this copy is better than over 91% of all graded copies. So it is rare and it is awesome to own in a 9.8 white pages. And when it is perfectly wrapped and centered like this with a solid spine and just a nice presentation as you see here, it's special. You know what I mean? Like, it is a blazing copy. And I just think that all early bullseye cover appearances are highly underrated in my personal opinion. I believe, and this is just me, this is not fact, this is just Professor Pecora speaking. I love Bullseye as a villain. I believe he is the Joker to Marvel. And just like the Joker's early cover appearances are highly collected in DC Comics... I believe down the road, 10, 15, 20 years from now, if the world doesn't end and it's still here, right? I'm just saying, it's, it's a crazy world we live in. But let's just say 15, 20 years down the road, these are going to become a lot more rarer, right? And highly desirable. And I could see people like myself now really just catching on to these early bullseye cover appearances because he's crazy, and his covers are highly entertaining, collectible, and unique, you know. And then once we get to even some of the Frank Miller bullseye covers, like Daredevil 160, which is highly controversial. I mean, you just see why that, why would somebody want to collect all of Bullseye's cover appearances, especially his early ones? They're just awesome, you know what I mean? So I think they're highly underrated and they have a lot of room to grow. In my personal opinion, you know, and he is one of them villains that could cross. He crosses over into other titles. I mean, he battled freaking Captain America. He's had numerous battles with the Punisher. I mean, Bullseye's badass, man. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> he is that villain. And I hope they bring him back in the uh, Daredevil streaming series. I hope it's good. And I hope they really do his character justice. So this is my review video of Daredevil 146, CGC 9.8 White Pages. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is a, it's a killer book, all right? And uh, yeah, you know, stay tuned for the next one. I'm just going to drop it out there right now. Yeah, the next review video after this one. And stay tuned. It's going to be Daredevil 159. And that, that's going to be an interesting one. In terms of bullseye cover appearances, that's a unique one. And I'm, I'll explain in the video. So stay tuned for that one to drop. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. You know, like that means a lot to me. If you drop any comments or anything, I will try to respond as soon as I can. Check all the links in the description. My eBay link is there. My CGC registry bio. The official write-up for this bad boy book right here. And a lot more. All right. And I have a link to my All Eyes on Bullseye custom CGC registry set that this book is featured in so thank you very much everybody i hope you enjoyed this one get another close-up look at the action before we sign off bullseye baby
high grade, rarity. I love it. All right, you guys, stay tuned for the next review video. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Peace and God bless. I'm out.